Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to share with you one thing that has really catch me more crappie and bass, but a lot more crappie coming up. Just get outside and do something awesome. So guys, when you're out fishing, especially if you're fishing, um, I found it really, a, like for me, a game changer when I'm fishing for crappie, but this could apply to bass or whatever. But when you're in a kayak and you've got a, a nice sonar, you know, I got this nice sonar here and I'm able to mark fish, but sometimes you get in a spot where you don't want to be right on top of those fish because it spooks them. That's the situation I'm in today. Um, so what I use and one of the key pieces of equipment is a marker buoy. Simple, very easy to use, um, but if you look out here, you can see that I've got that marker buoy out here and what I've marked is a piece of brush and that uh, piece of brush is in about eight nine feet of water and so I really don't want to sit on top of it um, but I do know that the main part of the piece of brush is actually the marker buoy is not right on it it's actually two feet on this side of it so when I'm casting towards it I'm casting a little bit further than the buoy and right now I'm, I've got the wind blowing towards me and I'm using my pedal drive to kind of maintain position. And then I'm just pulling that bait back through where that cover is. And it's as simple as that guys. crap eye little little one especially if you're fishing something that's really shallow you don't want to put that marker buoy right on top of it you kind of want to offset it to one side but at least that way you know where the cover is and it gives you a visual reference to stay on because especially in a kayak you're going to get blown by the wind and constantly looking at the bank and trying to get reference points can really take away from your fishing experience and you end up not focusing enough on your bait that fish there that i just caught was extremely light and it was not a very hard bite so i think if i was really distracted i probably wouldn't have caught that fish but i'm just casting single jigs at this and i'm able to pick up these crappie here so let's catch a few more I'm not trying to put a ton of action on this jig just trying to slowly go through here i think i just got a nibble there there we go there's a bluegill some bluegills mixed in there with them but as you can see guys it makes a lot easier i'm not constantly having to guess where that brush pile is i know exactly where it is and able to quickly target these fish and get them in the boat now see like when you have visible cover like this you don't really need a buoy because you've got a visual point that you're casting to There's another crap eye. Weather's getting crap eye, I'll tell you that much. That's probably right on the edge of a keeper. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching today. Hopefully this little tip helps you mm. When you're out fishing for crappie or whatever you're out there fishing for, a simple marker buoy can really help you make sure that every single one of your casts count when you're trying to fish submerged structure. As always guys, don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, take somebody with you if you get a chance, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you want to see that next video, make sure that you're subscribed because over 90% of my views come from non-subscribers, and I will see you guys in the next one.